I hate religious victories. I hate them so much. Flame, flames, flames on the side of my face. They are so easy, they are so linear, it's impossible to lose them even with mods like DD++ and late game AI. I just absolutely loathe them. So, my community loves to give me dumb challenges, and I've been wanting to play this one for quite a while now. Win the religious victory, but only spread your religion actively through rock bands? Now normally you can use rock bands to win a culture victory by gaining big boosts of tourism, but there is one rock band promotion called Religious Rock that converts the city to the majority religion of the rock band owner. Normally, you want your rock bands to have a successful performance so they can level up and gain more tourism from stacking promotions, but with Religious Rock, it doesn't matter. Your performances can fail, they can be successful, but either way, it will convert the city to your religion regardless. The only question is, can I win the religious victory faster than the culture from spamming all of these rock bands? This game is played on seven seas with the New World Age setting as Menelik of Ethiopia, without gameplay mods, and no game modes. That's right. No game modes. Alright, 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 Mr. Bean. If that even is your real name? Question mark? Uh, <clears throat> where are we settling? Probably on spot, yeah? A lot of hills, man. If that... If, if, yeah, let's just settle on spot. 2-2, two, two, work the 2-2 two, two tile. Look at the... If only this was a science game. This is the perfect Ruhr Valley city. A Petra Ruhr, even? Double scout, settler. Actually, I'm gonna go scout slinger. Only because this is no game modes. I don't trust... Barbs and the other AI without uh, without Slinger. And once again, I had mentioned it before, but I am only playing with UI mods this game. There's no actual gameplay mods. It's literally just all UI, so no, no BBS or anything like that. Yeah, let's go Astrology first. I want to find... We need to get a religion. This is no game modes. This is no better balanced starts. So we're going to have a tough time getting a religion. I forgot what that was like. <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> Give me a relic <sighs> what did we get oh we got a free scout okay i'll actually take that i will take a free scout 100 percent uh, let's go east east no i said east oh i could have moved right there that's fine and then yeah i'll go slinger into monument guess we go north do we find okay we found a second continent continent here too that's nice uh i'll go i'll go west yeah 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 <clears throat> All right, let's keep scouting. Do I actually, do I just go north with him? No, I'll go west, and then I'll go, like, southwest with him. Beep, bop, boop. So where am I putting my... Over here. Where am I gonna put my holy site? Ooh, another tribal. Okay, let's go grab that. Also, where am I putting my other cities? There's obviously, I think this is a city right here. Uh, maybe a city here. Another city over here. And you're probably wondering, why am I putting cities on hill... Uh, just only on hills? Because the way that Menelik works... You receive science and culture equal to 15% of my faith gen for a city that is founded on hills. That's free science, free culture, baby. That would, that's all, that also means we're going to be settling cities like here that don't have any fresh water access because we just, we want hills. Give me a relic. We got astrology boosted though. I'll take that. That's actually kind of great getting astrology boosted here. No, where's the AI? This is BBS. No BBS, right? No BBS. I, Okay. There's going to be AI, like, right here. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Um, let's actually get this slinger out in two turns. Oh, another tribal. And there's also our first city-state. Not a first meet. Let's go grab that tribal village. Okay. Of course. Of course. We Okay, never mind. I take back what I said about that tribal village getting the astrology boost. That was awful. That's awful. I mean, at least we have go boost on. Yeah, let's, we're going to settle that. We're going to settle go boost on. Holy site here. That's so annoying, actually. <laughs> I'm so annoyed by that. Uh, settle those over here. Maybe if there's a hill around this area, we can settle it. If we can't settle a hill, I'm not going to settle. Like, I'm not going to force it. It's fine. I would prefer, obviously, but I'm not going to force it. All right, hold on. We're going to quick. I'm going to do some districting. Uh, actually, I'll explore a little bit, then we'll do districting. Uh, hello? Can I help you? I mean, there's obviously a camp right here. Okay, there's the camp. Relic. A third. Okay. I'll take a third scout. 
That's actually kind of incredible. I'm not, I'm really, uh, not mad at that at all. <gasps> Next turn. Pit, why? Why does it have to be this guy? Huh? All right, let's start working. I'm gonna, I, I know I want, okay, he's right here too. I want this settler out, but I'm just gonna start working on my holy site right now, I think. The real question is where, where do I put it? We want a spot for Mahabodhi Temple. So maybe right here. Ma Bodhi either here or here. All right, give me two seconds. I'm going to do some districting. Uh, BRB. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Obviously, we're probably not getting all of these. We're probably not getting Oracle or Pyramids. Um, but those could be supplemented and changed around. Like, if we lose Oracle here, this could be, like, uh, Hagia Sophia or something along those lines. So I think I think that's fine. I'm okay with that. So let's, let's keep scouting. excusez moi so in two turns, next turn, two turns. Next turn, we'll pull down our holy site. Okay, another city-state, Johannesburg. Beep, beep. I'm a Jeep. Oh, what's over here? Who is that? Jerusalem, okay, and it's faith-based. So we're actually getting a little extra science and culture just because of our Menelik ability. And it's plus one. That means we don't have to work God King Ooh, and a tribal village. Let's go get it. All right, let's work the holy site right now. Do I want it before... My settler. Probably, right? I probably want it before my settler. Because we want our religion as fast as possible. Yeah, let's do it. Who is that? That's yeah, Cardiff. First meet as well. We have a lot of room. We have a lot of... I mean, I guess this is seven C's, right? But we have a surprising amount of room for a uh, non-BBS start. Give me a relic. Archery boost. Sure, I guess. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be mad at that. That gives us TOA. Oh, actually, do we have any TOA areas? No. Ooh, we have some ivory up here. Could TOA this. Probably won't be able to get it. But just in case, who knows? Crazier things have happened. Another tribal? We have we have an insane amount of room. This is kind of crazy, actually. Does he hate me? Uh, not really. Oh, another thing. I wanted to I wanted to talk about this because we talked about this on stream and I, I pulled this up here. This is a little segue. We tested this on stream a bunch of different times. So I have been, uh, we can debate, debate this in the comments below. I have been debating or talking about this for a little while now when it comes to meeting civs for the first time and how Gilgamesh is the only one that allows you to meet that civ, like befriend the first time. There's been also a lot of talk about uh, being able to do it with Vietnam as well as Scythia. And we tested it for like two hours straight without BBS, with BBS, with a bunch of different mods that I use. You cannot, it's not, okay, it, I shouldn't say you cannot. It is not a guarantee friendship with Scythia, with Tamaris. On the first time you ever meet here, regardless of how she thinks of you and the reasons for current relationship, like you can with Gilgamesh, right? The first time you meet Gilgamesh, even if you meet Gilgamesh on the turn rollover and then the next turn it shows that he's unfriendly, even when he's unfriendly and it shows like he has like minus 15 or whatever, you could still declare friendship immediately with him. You can't, it's it's not a guarantee with Scythia and it's not a guarantee with Vietnam. Now I know, I know you're gonna be like, oh, I've seen so-and-so do this. They get it almost every time. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the explanation is for that because we ran it without mods. We ran it with BBS. We ran it with uh, the regular mods that I run. We ran it literally. We I ran it with zero mods on stream, and it was not a guarantee like it is with Gilgamesh. So I kind of want to squelch that again. Second, this is another little rant. Uh, there was a I don't I honestly and I don't remember who there was another creator that said this a while back too where it was the first impression of you varies between if whether or not it's a warrior or a scout. That's also not true. Uh, we tested this a bunch of different ways in isolated stuff on stream with BBS on, with BBS off. We tested it in a made-up map where it was just ourselves and the other Civ, and we saved it before we met the Civ, whether it was a warrior or a scout. Tested it a bunch of different times, whether or not we sent a delegation or not. And that, it does not matter either way. It, the first, minus first impressions of you were the same every single time. So that's also not true as well. Uh, I don't remember who said that. There was another creator that said it. This is kind of an old video. I think it was like two years ago that someone was saying this. That's also not true. That's It may have been true then, but it's not true now. So uh, if you disagree with me, let me know. Because 
We tested it out for a long time, and I have the VOD on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash if you wanted to go there. Anyways, just wanted to throw that out there. Stop that! We should get a promotion after the next one. After the next attack. Another tri- Why are we getting so many tribal villages? Alright, give me a relic. Okay. Oh, masonry's actually pretty good. Because we do have some stone around here. So we'll grab that tribal. Damn, we have a lot of room. Now, a lot, like I said, a lot of these cities down here are not guaranteed, nor are they the cities that I'm going to be placing if I can place them. Uh, they will be changing as the game goes on. As I said, there's our promotion. Let's grab volley. Honk, honk. Oh, no one there. I mean, we can, I'll, I'll settle cities up here, too. We want as much faith as we can this game. I'm basically going to be treating this like a faith culture game. America's in here? Okay. We found that America is nearby Brazil, so let's go that way. Die. You know you know what you want it to be? It's going to be it. I, it's going to be it right now. Oh, that's right. Hey, population's pretty good. Free pop? That means extra production. I believe the I believe the youths call that a pog champ. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? You know what else I'm not going to do this game? And I just I just decided it right now. I'm not going to buy and sell Diplo favor. Arma? No, on a first meet. That's okay. I just decided it right now. Nice. I also want to get a golden age too. Uh, so not doing that might affect our golden age. Speaking of, we have at least 20 turns to get nine era score. We should be able to get a religion in that time. Uh, I am going to go settle Gobustan and we're going to settle on a second continent. So that should be like five era score right there. Has anybody gotten a religion yet? No. Okay. I think I'm going to go Monument into Builder into Holy Site Prayer. Because I do want to get a, a religion. I don't I don't care about getting the first one. When you find yourself in a hole, just don't be in one. Hello? Have you thought about that? Sorry. Yeah, let's keep scouting. Beep, bop, boop. But I would like at least the second or third. Uh, work ethic would be nice. I really want choral music. If I, do, if I wanted to get the first one, it would be choral music. Uh, if not, ooh, Emotep stuff. Oh, okay, that's that changes a lot. Um, having Emotep available is pretty huge. This guy, I hate. <laughs> I hate having this idiot in my games. You know, I said I said I, I hated having Peter. I think I hate having the Kree in my games. They are they just make everything not fun. They build wonders. They expand really fast. They denounce you a lot. Fifteen science per turn. Can I help you, sir? I really dislike having them in my games. I said it before and I'll say it again. Man, I love being a turtle. Alright, still the only one working on great profit points. That is, uh, that's gonna change really soon. People are gonna start gaining them pretty fast. Alright, no other city. Oh, I keep forgetting that I'm not playing with BBS, so there, city states are probably not going to be spawning <laughs> up here like they do with BBS. 16 science. Hello? You okay? Uh, let's go here. Well, obviously, we can't settle there. Another continent. Pog. Uh, let's just keep scouting. Huh! That will be a relic, surely. Yes, I'm serious, and don't call me Shirley. All right, let's go settle this. Am I still working these two tiles? Yeah, maybe I want this to grow. Uh, can I get this to grow in, like, five turns? No, ten turns. Too much. I also don't want to start losing amenities, too, so I'm going to stifle growth on my cap. So we can try and at least get a get the if we get the first religion, that would be Nito Burrito. Damn, we have a lot of we have a lot of hills to settle. Yep, yeah, let's go settle this. All right. I mean, I just we're just not gonna get a relic anymore, I guess. <laughs> I used up all of my relic luck on my speed runs. Although I did get one on stream last time I streamed. Once again, uh, twitchtv Bosius. Next turn. Bandar. Another tribal. We need seven era score in f maybe 15 turns. I'm getting monument so I can uh, so I can get my culture going. This is this is pretty important. And then I think I go like I want to go shrine, but I kind of just want to go holy site prayers into shrine. Mm, bam, bam. We also have our pantheon on the next turn. What are you doing, bud? Huh? Where are you going? Bop, boop. I don't even know what Pantheon I'm going to take. Probably, uh, oh, never mind. I put that. I was going to say probably, uh, what are they called? 
the pantheon that gives you amenities from having a holy site next to a river. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? If I'm going to get pyramids, I should go down to it. All right. Let's get our pantheon. What do I even take? I honestly don't even know. Maybe monument to the gods? <laughs> it's turn 28. This is... is Am I on deity? This is on deity. What? Okay, well, that answers my... What? I won... Am I just, like, so used to playing on BBS that I can never get religious settlements that... Well, I know that BBS does make the AI better because it also improves their starts, not just your start. So maybe I'm just so used to the AI getting religious settlements all the time that I forgot what it was like to not play with BBS. <laughs> okay, I'm taking it. I mean... <laughs> where am I... Where am I going with... Oh, I should probably go to the government plaza city, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing like an idiot right now because this is the most stupid start. It's not even a broken start. It's just the fact that I... I mean, I have a wonder nearby, but it's not like an incredible area for a wonder. It's not like I had a wonder start in another tribal village. All right, this is this is the relic, right? If that would have been a relic, I probably just would have thrown up. I would have actually thrown up. This game's stupid. Civilization Six is stupid. I mean, I love this game. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm being superfluous right now. Do I even need to run a holy site prayer? I'm gonna run one just in case, just to be a little. We're gonna, we're gonna. This is gonna be safe on the safe side. This should get uh, th like settling here might give us our golden age. He settled a new city. Okay, don't care. And oh, okay, I think I actually just put my harbor here, and then we can throw a theater square over here for this city. Okay, he's gonna settle right here, so I'm just gonna keep going with my warrior. I think I'm gonna bring my warrior back and have my scout go to the west. Suleiman. Hello. Wow, you're so magnificent. <clears throat> um, sorry. Scientists. We don't care about scientists. We don't care about science. All right. Is this our golden? This is our golden right here. Oh, we overshot on error score. We're gonna overshoot on error score here. I think. I think that. I think it's inevitable. It's also lock in our holy site. I mean, we already overshot on holy holy score. Era score, which means I'm actually gonna not scout anymore. Like I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna hold off on scouting. We have ten possible turns to the next era, so I don't want to meet the other civs. Yeah, let's go right into political philosophy, because yeah, like I said, I don't I don't want to get too much era score. I mean, we're gonna get era score here from getting our religion anyways. So right, maybe I should have gone down state workforce first, so we can get the our government plaza. But that's I almost bought, I almost bought, uh, <laughs> this, but I'm glad, I, I'm glad I didn't. All right, let's, let's settle here, too. Nice. 27 out of 20. A little extra era score. Didn't hurt anybody. Yeah, let's just fortify here. Let's bring him home. Fortify there as well. Just hang out here. Fortify right there. How are we looking on religions? Nobody's built Stonehenge yet. That'll probably happen soon, sooner than later. Not, and then I'm actually going to go shrine here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My no amenities. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. We have a lot of settled locations. Like I said, we're going to need a lot of cities this game. I can't believe we got religious settlements. temenaki has gone. Turn 33. Here we go. This is another good reason to bring, like I said, to bring my warrior back. So I can deal with these barb camps. Am I really going to get choral music? I mean, work ethic would be nice here, too. Because we have some decent, like, plus four. And I, I could probably get... Like, this city can put their holy site here. This city can put their holy site, like, right here. It's a lot of extra production, but we don't care too much. We just want faith and, and culture. We want a lot of culture, too. Wow, still nobody. Turn 35. This is dumb. That's all I have to say. This is just dumb. Uh, I will actually send him to the west, because I don't think anybody's over here. So I don't think we're going to find Ted. I'm assuming it's Ted, or it could be Abe. Yeah, we're going to bring him home. We have to deal with these barbs, especially from here. Which means maybe I just buy another slinger when uh, I get the gold. Germany's in this game. Okay, now we really do have to get... <laughs> yeah, you gotta go deal with that. We need to deal with this. Actually, you're gonna go deal with it here. You're gonna come up and deal with them up there. Now, the real question is, do I go Pingala first? Or do I grab Magnus to just giga chop out wonders and settlers? Anybody else building pyramids? <gasps> okay, hit the pyramid. They're like, they're... I think he finished them. Maybe I just missed it. Okay, so pyramids are not being built. Maybe I put that here instead. I'm gonna go Pingala first. I was gonna go Magnus first. Let's just go Pingala. 
like, pyramids are already gone. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Hey, who want my borders? Oh, there's horses over here. Okay, we'll buy that on the next turn, too. All right. We know we're getting a golden age. <laughs> I mean, apparently, unless someone builds Stonehenge, we're gonna also going to get the first religion, too. Friend. Okay, well, that puts my mind to rest. Although, I will say, this idiot loves to spread his religion. He doesn't have one right now, but he lo when he gets a religion, he loves to spread it. So, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. And we have to build Inquisitors and the like. Okay, after this, we can go right into Settlers, too. I'm not building a second Holy Site in here yet. Um, because I want to start working... Because I want to get my government plaza in this city first. I guess we'll go Archery into Irrigation. I should have grabbed Irrigation because we need the incense. Kind of my fault. Oh, I just realized that there's a... A volcano here, and we have choppable stuff right there, too. That's so annoying. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, here come the... Yeah, they're, they're, here come the religions. We'll finish that, then we'll start working on our settler. Real question is, what? What's our religion name this game? Boop! <clears throat> like, how... He's probably gonna kill it, right? No, he's healing. I mean, he's... There's, there's no way they don't kill this. I don't need the arrow score. It's fine, but... Let's put in colonization here. Ah, oh, just kidding. That's my fault. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. We didn't need the era score. It would have been nice if he kept him alive so, until the next era, so we could have gotten era score then. But ha! it's fine. Oh, did they kill that barb? There's, what? That must have been from this one over here. That's scary. My thank you. I can't believe I got the first religion. <laughs> That's so stupid. We also got an envoy. Uh, I'm guessing that was Cahokia. Yeah. <laughs> this, game, this, game's, this game's silly already. That's, okay, that's already gone. Can I work this? I should have been working this for the extra culture this entire time. Uh, Great Bath's gone. Bye-bye. No Bye-bye. Religion names. Okay. Uh, what's our religion name? I mean, we've been doing g -Hyo a lot lately, but we need... I need to, I need to vary it up. We gotta vary it up, brothers. Every day, girls day. Oh, choral music. Oh, yeah. And what am I going first here? I'm actually gonna go, this may seem silly, but I think the AI loves to take stupa. Ooh. Do I, I kinda wanna go stupas, but I kinda wanna go gurdwaras. Maybe go synagogues for the extra faith, plus five faith. You know, I'm not gonna get a building. I'm just gonna let the AI pick. We're gonna, we're going. I'm going full culture, choral music into world church. <laughs> Thirty-one out of twenty-five. Yeah, right. All right. This is this is what I was waiting for. Uh, let's go government plaza right now, and then right into connoisseur for even more culture. Yeah, we're working on settlers. Man, not having, uh, not having <laughs> buying. And selling Diplo favor, I'm like, man, I don't have any gold, huh? I have no gold. All right, let's go. Next, next era. Oh, Petra Pog. Hello, classical. This is a pretty easy take. Monumentality. Builder, being able to purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and settlers are 30% cheaper. Uh, I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer, yeah? Th this is actually going to be kind of the hard one, is getting our Golden Age this era. Uh, the scout, who is that? That is... Oh, jeez. That's probably one of the best city-states we could have gotten this game. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna be our... Aside from our regular faith economy, that's going to be our extra faith economy right there. Uh, let's actually not work on this settler. Let's get our government plaza going. We'll work on the horses in a second. Get, work on colonization. I'm actually going to get the city to grow to pop four before plopping down um, for finishing that settler. <laughs> I'm so used to do. I'm so used to just buying and selling. I will sell Diplo favor at the end or what, like when, when I can. I'm just not worried about it. Like I'm not going to buy and sell right now. I'm not going to do the Diplo favor uh, scamming like I usually do. Beep, beep. Can I get open borders? Sure, whatever. I don't even like gold anyways. Now I'm going to take Classical Republic. I would like Autocracy for the Wonder production, but I, I just want Classical Republic right now. I love amenities. <sighs> amenities? Sorry. Amenities are incredibly important in Civ. 
scared me talking about it with uh, taking stupas instead of uh, gurkwaras, but I mean, I obviously didn't take them yet. But having a city with a district gives plus one city and or plus one housing and amenities is kind of important. Now, right into drama and poetry, into theology. So we will be able to get plus four era score from this. We'll also get plus three era score once this holy site finishes because it is a breathtaking holy site with having plus three or more adjacency. So we might be able to get a golden. If we don't get a second golden, it's not the end of the world. I will just oops, chop out settlers, which I think I'm going to do anyways. I think I'm going to settle like this city here or like this city over here and use all of these chops for settlers. All right, next turn. Okay, well, no Oracle. I mean, it's turn 52, right? Maybe this is either Hagia Sophia or... Can I get build Kotaku in there? Yeah, maybe Kotaku in. 20% extra faith? It's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, we can start selling horses. I'm actually going to sell the horses so I could just buy this tile. Uh, can I just sell one? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I could have just waited. I would, if I would have just waited until the next turn, I would have had enough gold anyways to... I swear. I'm a, I swear I'm a smart man. I, I promise. I promise I am. I should have taken religious colonization now that I think about it. It's fine. All right. There's one amenity instead of choral music. Oh, well. While I'm here, I'm actually going to use my faith for a builder. And I should just grab a trader with my faith instead of building one. God, we really need Chingeti. Uh... Send a trade route. Obviously, it's not going to happen. Disa Baba. Let's, yeah, let's send that to Jerusalem. Three gold, but it also gives us 2.5 faith per turn. Or do I send it here? You know what I'm going to do? is I'm actually going to do an internal trade route for the gold, or for, for the uh, growth and production in my capital. And then this will be our Colosseum city. We have quite a few chops. Plus, we can get TOA maybe too. Three turns. That's going to be Magnus. Do I get another settler in here? Yeah, let's get another settler. That's fine. That's error score, actually. Huh! Sorry, I'm good. Okay, that's probably where America is, considering it's a second continent. Is there no other religions yet? There's no way. It's turn 55! This game is whack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, there's another religion. Eastern Orthodoxy. Uh, who is it? The Creek. Did, did I not say... That he was going to do. Now he's going to send his freaking missionaries here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's get some production in the city. So let's go. Yeah, these three right here. Uh, I think that's Teddy. I think it's Rough Rider based off of the colors. Give me open borders, dude. I swear. I swear to God. And he's building the Petra? Oh, he's building Jebel? What a butthole, honestly. So rude. TBH. TBQH. This is why we built or have these guys over here. Now the, the real question is: Do I get Magnus right now, or do I get a uh, do I get a Mani? I want a Mani because I want Chingeti. Chingeti is really important. That's gonna help our faith economy later on in the game, and getting her sues pretty quickly is gonna be is fairly important. But I do want to chop out some wonders, and I want to chop out settlers. Uh, since we finished, like I literally might just chop out the ancestral hall here. Uh, let's get Magnus. Let's put him in here for now. Um, actually, I want this city to grow a little bit faster. TOA. Okay. Uh, I, I shouldn't be surprised. Like I said, it's it's nearly turn 60. Like, why am I surprised that these are going? <laughs> also, there's our plus three arrow score from building this plus four holy site. Uh, I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, no. Temple of Artemis turn 60. Wowzers. Hello. Well, at least we're not on their continent. That means he's more than likely going to like us. Friend? Hopefully. Do I need to get a, a, a missionary out? I think I might need to get one missionary out on the off chance I start seeing some missionaries come come my way. Thanks, dude. Right. Envoys. Do I have Diplo League in? I do. That's first time sent to Chingeti. Anybody want this yet? No. What about this? No. 15 horses? Uh, I think I want to sell these actually right now. So I can upgrade my archers, or my slingers into archers, at, that is. Why don't you like me? Rude. TBH. Okay, let's go kill this camp. What? I'm sorry. Please don't kill my city. 
don't kill it. Please. <laughs> what? I don't think this horse could one-shot my city, right? Or, I mean, uh, completely kill its that my city all by, all by itself, right? Right? That's not going to happen, is it? If it happens, I'm safe coming, like, 100%. That's, I'm, I don't care. That's, like, ooh, friend. No, close enough, though. Don't just start spawning horses. Okay. I, I would have just straight up thrown. All right, there's first time use on Chingeti as well. Era score plus the uh, extra faith we're going to get from, obviously, Susan Chingeti. So no TOA, Sag. We will be able to get, if it comes down to it, Estadio right here. Don't think we'll be able to, but that is a thing that might happen. Uh, and how, where are we at? Okay. Like two turns, and then we'll grab a missionary. Zanzibar declared war on America. Who's he at war with? Also, Zanzibar's in the game? Okay, that's four. This is another little trick here. I rarely use this trick because I just forget all the time. Um, but if you are fortified, you can fortify and promote at the same time. If, like right now he's fortified, so this is a bad example, uh, because I did it too fast. But normally, if you just promoted, you would not be in a fortification, fortified stance. But if you fortify first, here, here we go. Okay. If you fortify and then you go to wake, okay, I can't do it now. But what you do generally is to be able to fortify and level up at the same time is, you saw earlier, you hit fortify, and then you hit the, the cancel button, and that way you could promote as well, and then you promote, and now you'd stay in a fortified stance. I did it too fast, and I couldn't show it off correctly, uh, but it would be like this. Like, well, I'll show it when I can, if I can do it again. <laughs> this is a bad example. Ooh, Nazca's in the game. Yep, double send to Nazca. Uh, let's also go scripture. And so, actually, yeah, instead of charismatic leader. Okay, what, are, what is that right there? That's Apadana. Okay, don't really care about Apadana. Okay. And Machu. That's su not surprising. What I am going to do is... Let's sell my horses again. Also sell this. Yeah. Let's put down my theater square. Right now. Now we can finish that builder. Or that settler. Boy, do I need gold. Uh, do I go whole... Yeah, let's grab this city's holy site too. Lock that in. And grab a missionary too. This is a safety missionary. Okay, goes Jebel. Can you just... On a scale of 1 to 10, how about we just don't do that? Alright, here we go. Here's a good example. So, you can fortify here, but if you wanted to be able to, to fortify and promote at the same time, you hit the cancel button after you fortify, and then you click promote, and that will keep your unit fortified. That will allow it to be fortified even if you've promoted in the same turn, which is pretty nice. If I must say so myself. Uh, let's go settle this. It's a, it's a neat little trick. Neato burrito. But can I have open borders? Uh, sure, whatever. Okay, you liked me and now you don't like me anymore? What did I do? Minus 10? What the? It's messed up. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Aw, oh, this almost... Do, like, do I want to sacrifice this city so it gets hit by Colosseum? Or would I rather just and get, like, the one extra amenity? Or would I just rather settle on the hill and get the extra science and culture? I think I'd rather settle on the hill. Because this still hits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like, 6 cities. <clears throat> converts in 25, converts in 9. Okay. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to see, like, a missionary over here or a missionary right there. It's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen. There's, like, no way it's not gonna happen. It's taking all of my willpower not to just hit accept deal right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fortify. Go kill that camp. Settle the city over here. Anybody want 10? Let's just get some gold per turn. I want. We need to go Ancestral Hall so badly. These poor cities. <laughs> Another builder. Am I gonna... Oh! Well, hello! Speaking of Vietnam, we were talking about her earlier. Look, let's try it out. Dang. No instant friendship. Oh, that's who, uh, that's who America's at war with. Oh, all right. Here's some era score too. We are going to have to like figure out where I'm placing these. Let's, let's just go ahead and place one up here. Also, I would like, oh, that's, yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's three gold. I mean, can I just get some flat gold? Oh, wait, we have no gold. I'm so poor. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put a holy site down for my second district in this city. Okay. There goes Stonehenge. Uh, let's just settle. That's where that holy site will be, I guess. I'm just going to take out colonization right now. Oh, maybe? Question mark? 
Yeah, let's just I'm just gonna take it out for a little bit. How, how much does it delay it? Yeah, one turn. It's fine. Let's just start working on these temples. Here we go. There's some error score. Plus four error score. Getting oh man, that's so much faith. We're gonna have so much faith this game. I I definitely think I scored Ethiopia incorrectly in my last tier lists. I think Ethiopia is just way better than you. I hate you. Sorry. Way better than, than I, I gave them credit for. Gosh, that was three era score too. If I don't get a golden age, we know whose fault it is. That was messed up. Um, let's just sell this for gold per turn so we can get that for amenities. And then sell this for gold per turn so I can get this for amenities. There we go. Now our cities should be... Yeah, now they're a lot happier. The city's also going to go entertainment complex first because this is going to be... The Colosseum City. What is this? There goes Apadana. What is that? Oh, I circumnavigated. I was like, how did I get plus five era score? Answer my own question. Oh, Teddy. Yes. Friend. Okay. Yeah, just go up. Uh, I really shouldn't have put down my holy site as a second city. Maybe I just get... I mean, sorry. Second. Uh, like, I could chop the bananas to get the pop seven. And then chop the rainforest. Like, chop the bananas and rainforest to get the pop seven, maybe. Especially with Magnus established. Do I have bronze working? No, we can do that after Celestial Navigation. Because I need to get Maz. If I'm going to get Maz and get Emotep, to use Emotep on this as well as that, then I need to get to, uh, I need to get my, this city to pop seven. Uh, let's go heal. I need some flat gold right now. Okay, next turn. Beep, beep. Oh, there's a wonder right there. How are the... Five? Oh, do I have to use... Let's just use my missionary here. I'm gonna grab a second missionary. I, I, like, I don't want to lose my religion. I can't afford to lose my religion. Yeah, friendship. Okay. Let's just spread my religion in these cities. Let's grab, uh, yep, these four extra amenities. And now... Who want this? Yeah, there we go. I want 13 gold per turn. I don't want flat gold right now. Have I met everybody? Oh, we still have two people. Okay. Let me ask you. Matterhorn? We really needed that gold per turn. That was kind of important. 15 gold per turn is pretty good right now. Beep. Bap. Oh, come on, dude. Move. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's that's good. Spread. Hanging gardens. Okay, that's... I mean, we don't care. Oh, come on. And we... <gasps> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, come on, dude. That's so frustrating. I went from pop four to pop one. Well, it was it was just about to be pop four to pop one. I cannot believe this game. <sighs> Provision is <laughs> so infuriating. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> Woo! It's all right. It's okay. Do I just settle the city here and get Maz in this? No, because I have to get it in this city because that kind of ruins the setup, right? <sighs> I'm so mad. I could still chop this to pop seven, but. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed right now. And I forgot to swap out policies. I'm just gonna settle. I'm not gonna. I'm, we're not waiting for Ancestral Hall. <clears throat> I'm so. I'm so <sighs> Alright. Let's go back. Yeah, you go settle. Oh! Okay, I thought that was a missionary. Ma'am? Okay, she, she lost to a wonder. That's probably Hanging Gardens. Just based on the location. Iron? <sighs> Oh my god, dude, I'm I hate I hate I hate this game. I hate I hate Peter Pan uh, maybe I can just do this then. Do something like this. Uh Sacrifice Cause I wanna get kill while oh you know what we might not even be able to get kill while this game. We'll try. But this maybe this goes kill while right here. And then this is still Maz. We do something like that instead? Ugh, no. I still want Killwa here. Ugh, I'm so mad right now. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe. I should have known. That's so infuriating. That's so infuriating. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. So I, I guess what I do then, I still settle. Maybe just this city gets a theater spear right here. I still get this city's harp. Oh, this would be a better harbor. Right? We still do this then. I guess I'll just put Maz right here, and then this city can put their theater square right here. 
So it's still okay overall, right? We lose a little bit of adjacencies, but it's it's fine. And then maybe this could be like, is this, can I damn this? Maybe these could be IZs right here. This could be for Gondar. And then we can grab a commercial hub for the city right here. I probably won't get these, but maybe we'll see. Yeah, let's just grab, I'll grab a settler then in like two turns out of the city. We'll go settle this. This will be our, we'll go right into a harbor for this city. This will be our Maz city. Um, we'll faith by Maz or faith by Emotep for Maz and then go into Ma Bodhi and then into Coliseum. I'm still so mad. Wait, who is that? Uh, Zan okay, oh yeah, that's right. We knew Zanzibar was at war with America. Zanzibar would be really nice to have this game too. Extra amenities. I build ancient walls. Nope. Where's my other missionary there? I can't put my holy site there. <sighs> what do I do? Do I just, like with this city here? I mean, this city, I think there's like that. I mean, that's obvious holy site. This city can put their holy site there. So this city can put their holy site here. This city puts their holy site here. This city puts their holy site right there. So I think this city just goes like holy site, commercial hub, theater square triangle, right? Or, sure. Yeah, let's just do it. Provision. Now the rest of this face, um, faith, face, faith. I'm going to get one builder and then I'm going to go right into Emotep as, as fast as possible. Uh, let's also put down Mahabodhi right here. I'm just going to lock it in. Oh, never mind. I'm hard building one. Hear it? What did I say? Here they come. I hate. This is why I... All right, Chingeti, let's... Uh, now, I'm going to send this to Jerusalem. I hate uh, the Kree in this game when it comes to religion because they're just... He's just going to send missionaries. I have to get... Do I have uh, my... Okay. I have to get an Apostle out so I can get an Inquisitor. I... I oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm fine. It's okay. I'm fine. I swear. Uh, before feudalism, actually... I do want to grab military training for veterancy for this city. And we have possibly 11 turns to get 11 era score. Whew. We don't like that. Is this a joke? 10 turns? Oh my god. He's going to convert all of my cities. I shouldn't have... I should not have renewed my friendship with him. So I could just declare war and stomp on all of his stupid... Oh dude, I'm so upset right now. There's, this is, this, I am so tilted. I cannot believe this is happening right here. He's just going to freely convert all of my cities. And I can't do anything about it because I don't have any, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to buy Diplo favor. Ironic that I'm sending from here. Hey, idiot. He's, I mean, he's still not going to, he's still going to do it regardless. Uh, let's start chopping up Mahabodhi Temple. I wanted to use Emotep for this, but I... Pff. Oh, hello, Harold. I cannot. I'm so... I just don't. How am I going to run a religious victory if I lose my religion? <laughs> huh? How's that going to happen? I'm, I, I cannot believe this. I can't. I'm, I cannot believe this. I'm like at a loss right now. Did I not say that he was going to do this, too? I was like, oh, yeah, this guy's... He's like 100% going to do this. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> I'm not going to get a golden age either. I need six era score. Let's be. Yeah. I could levy units, I guess. There's one era score. Uh, we might be able to, to get. I mean, maybe if I get enough culture. I swear if, if he. Oh! Okay, that's scary. If he converts my cap, like, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to restart. It was a great library. I might just have to like buy an apostle. Like, no joke. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm just gonna buy an apostle on the next turn, I guess. Don't. Do not convert my cap. <sighs> this is the most infuriating game I've ever played. I cannot believe that just happened. Did I just lose? I think I just lost. <laughs> I am so mad right now. I'm so upset. Do those... Now, this is a great question. 
do these count as Eastern Orthodoxy when they pop out? Because if so, then the run's over. I have to restart. If delicate are. I can get a Golden Age on the next turn, actually. I will get a Golden Age on the next turn. Okay, well, we got a Golden, but at what cost? I've delayed so much. I've delayed so much faith. I've delayed so, like, so much everything. <sighs> oh, okay. That... All right. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I am so, I am so mad. I guess I can use these to evangelize. Maybe. Hold on. I have a thought. Maybe I could chop out this holy site, buy a shrine. <sighs> I'm so mad. And then get a missionary over here, and then buy an apostle, and then... Okay. I have a plan. I don't know if it's going to work. Luckily, evangelizing, it's still my own religion that evangelizes, so I'm not that worried about it. We're gonna, I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait till the next era. I don't know if this is going to work, but I have a plan. As long as he doesn't convert to... Ugh. I'm so mad. I am so mad right now. All right, we have to get. I have to get Moksha. I have to get Moksha. Still monumentality. <laughs> like, where's the? Which one is it? It's the um. Yeah, so I have to get down to Citadel of God. I can't, dude. I am so upset right now. I cannot believe this has actually happened. How many turns? Twelve more turns. Okay, let's evangelize. Luckily, evangelizing doesn't matter what belief we've taken. Uh, I plan on, sp like, we're going to go right into religious colonization. I plan on spreading a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Let's go religious colonization. And then we're going to go stupas. I'm so mad. Remember, I was like, oh, I'll pop that out. Okay. This is our last remaining hope right here. Can I? I can't. Okay. What I'm going to do, builder, chop this to pop four. <laughs> okay. This is, the, this is the plan. Builder, chop this to pop four chop out like we're gonna get emotep or i'm gonna try to get emotep here chop out the holy site ha with my religion still i'm dude i don't think you guys understand how mad i am right now <laughs> that, that that this this actually happened yeah so chop this to pop four chop out our holy site get an apostle launch an inquisition get an inquisitor which we should have enough faith by that point or maybe i just get a missionary get a, an apostle here and stomp on all of these missionaries. Um, well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait because this is uh, this is ridiculous. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I think this is the best course of action. I don't. I really don't want to restart this because this is such a good start. We have so much room. I think this is literally the only thing that I can do is chop this to pop four. Put go for my holy site immediately. Chop out my holy site. Get a missionary or purchase a shrine. Or purchase a shrine, get a temple, get an apostle, and then stomp on all these missionaries. That's that's the only thing I can think of that, aside from going all the way down to Citadel of God. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end, end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is this is this is this is stupid. I can't believe this is happening. This is the, would be the one thing that would happen. I called it earlier, didn't I? I said he's gonna send a bunch of missionaries this way, and he sent one, two, three, four, five, six missionaries. So, uh. Please let me know if you like this in the comments down below. Uh, if you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do have a Patreon and a coffee. If you'd like to support me that way, throw a few bucks. But once again, I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.